Well, nice to have you back, Matt. And today you're going to be helping us with the process of when we sell a house. There are a few different ways we can go about actually doing this. Yeah, there are. So the four most common ways in New Zealand to sell a property are a fixed price uh, by negotiation, by tender, and obviously the big fat one, auctions. Okay, so last week we discussed getting your salesperson right. Now we're going to find out the best way to actually sell your house. This will be quite a big decision. Yeah, a huge decision. You'd want to be talking to your agent about it. They've got all the knowledge. Um, they'll most definitely advise you, but at the end of the day, it's totally down to you, um, you know, which process you'd like to follow. Right. Okay, well, let's go through them then. Tender, how does that work? Yeah, so tenders are almost like a, they're almost like a blind auction. So um, there's a date set. They, they, there'll be open homes and obviously viewings and stuff, and there's a date where people literally write a price on a piece of paper, put it into an envelope, and they put it inside a box. And then it's crazy. So um, no one knows what anyone else is doing. For that reason, buyers don't really like tenders because they don't know they don't know where anyone else is at. So it's a real kind of a... You didn't even you know, know a real, ballpark, do you? No, 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 exactly. And then basically the vendor will clear out the box and they've got five days to go through those offers right. and to work through them. So for the... for the You would you'd use a tender um, if there was a real variance in the price where people saw it. Um, the um, the dot-com mansion, for example, some people might see that at $35 million. Yep. The, the person right under that, the second person, might see it at 25. So the last thing you'd want to be doing is taking that property to auction because you'd finish at 25. Whereas, you know, you could take, yeah, so. so what about negotiation? What does that mean? Yep, so by negotiation is basically the vendor is, is leaving it open to buyers to come to them with offers. And then um, there's a negotiation process between the purchaser and the vendor, hopefully eventually kind of getting to where they where they both agree on it. Um, so purchases, quite good for purchases. Um, there's no kind of mad pressure to be doing anything they don't want to be doing. And, and quite good for vendors, really. Again, it's quite a transparent, you know, two people basically having a, a conversation on paper and hopefully agreeing somewhere. OK, yeah. let's talk about the big one at the moment, because everyone loves this, auctions. Yep, yep. Not everyone loves this. <laughs> <laughs> Purchasers don't love it at the moment. Yeah, so this is obviously probably, I'd say probably not, at least 95% of properties in Auckland mm. would be auctioned. Um, I personally auction almost all of my properties as well. Um, if you're a vendor and it's kind of a, and, and your property appeals to quite a wide audience, I think you'd be mad not to take it to auction. You're really giving yourself the opportunity to go way beyond what you thought it was worth, you know, so you might think your house is worth 800000 bargain in Auckland these days, <laughs> yeah, um, and it? take it to auction, and you, you might get up to 1.2 or something, you okay. know, as we've read in the papers. Right. And we, we should quickly, just very quickly touch yep. on the last one, fixed price. Yep. Is that ever a good idea? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, I mean, again, I, if, if I was advising people, I'd advise them to take it to auction, but some people know what they want, you know, they're comfortable with that, that's the way they want to play it, and also you see a lot of fixed prices come on after houses go to auction, and if they haven't sold, um, people, would usually put a, people would usually put a fixed okay. price on it. Nice. I I love talking houses. I find it really so exciting. Do I. So, so do I. <laughs> Matt O'Brien from Barfoot and Thompson, thank you very much. We'll keep you updated with whatever is coming up housewise over the next few weeks.